We recently received a new update on the MCC and where the progress on the development is right now. We have the exact time when Halo 4's launch is going to happen, some more details when it comes to chat filtering, crossplay within multiplayer, ranks, as well as Season 4 content, and talking about the Recon Slayer Arctic Camo that you can earn at rank 20. So, if you want to learn everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel so more people get to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little update, just kind of, hey, this is what's currently happening in this week in the MCC and uh, you know, post this one up online. There's a nice little breakdown of kind of quick little things that they wanted to mention about the MCC and some things we actually didn't quite know about just yet. So in this video, we're going to go into all of that information. So we'll start right off the bat, guys, talking about the exact time we know of the Halo 4's release on PC. It will happen Tuesday, November 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. They do mention some of the features that are going to be coming with this launch, which are going to be absolutely awesome, like the improved interpolation when it comes to Halo 4, Halo Reach, and Halo 2 Anniversary. If you guys don't remember, playing about 60 frames in those games is pretty choppy and really not enjoyable. Well, on the flight, they recently updated it. And let me tell you guys, at least for Halo Reach and Halo 4, which I've had a chance to play for above 60 FPS, it works. It's super smooth and really enjoyable. You get a true PC experience, which is pretty freaking awesome on about that. Uh, we have improved chat filtering, FOV sliders for uh, Xbox Series S and X, crossplay for multiplayer, server region selection for matchmaking, updated video settings per title as well, and new multiplayer offerings and numerous life improvements as well when it comes to the MCC. They do mention within this post that they're gonna be updating a full breakdown of everything that's gonna be coming with Halo 4's release on PC. And I guarantee I'll be making a video about that on this channel, guys, so make sure you subscribe to catch it when it goes live. So they go into chat filtering options and you know, when you hear this, you're like, okay, they're gonna filter out what, exactly what you're gonna say. It doesn't sound exactly like that. Though when I played the flight, they were able to have some form of filtering or moderation, whichever word you want to use for that. I'm just kind of blocking out the, like, the obvious words you're not supposed to say in public. It's still rather loose and you know, it's not super squeaky clean. It's not like you're watching like a PG movie or anything like that. It's certainly made for an adult audience. And uh, they mentioned about how they brought in some new features when it comes to text chat options. If you check it out right here, you see that I have the MCC open at the moment right now. You can now go under the accessibility settings right here and change who you ch talk with through the chat option. So you have text chat ability, so you have all players, that means anybody in the game can talk with anybody. And then you have team only, which obviously pretty self-explanatory. And also on that one, you have squad only, so only with the people you went into a match with. Uh, I do believe right now you can change those settings. I think I just use tab to kind of filter through those settings. But then this also just makes it so that you will only receive messages from either your squad, your team, or the whole lobby, if that's what the settings that you would like. And like I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm a huge fan of this option, guys. I'm really a big fan of the moderation that's in the chat now, just to make things a little bit more friendly when it comes to uh, creating content and streaming the MCC as well. This next section I'm sure you're also probably most concerned about, and me too, and it comes with crossplay and what exactly is going to be available for it, because uh, it's not going to be you know, crossplay for all parts of the game. Every game is going to have crossplay. That's very true. So anybody on Xbox or PC can invite each other to each other's games. You'll be able to play, uh, you know, social matches, uh, competitive matches, and custom games along with firefight with the matchmaking games as well as custom games. And you throw Forge on top of that. So pretty much, any kind of multiplayer experience you can do uh, crossplay on besides co-op campaign or sparring ups, you can't do that right now. Now there was a bit of a workaround when it comes to doing crossplay for things like campaign and also for sparring ups as well, where if you started up a lobby in multiplayer and say you had the party lead, then switch over to do campaign, you could crossplay through that, though they might have patched it out because they state here that the main reason why they don't allow crossplay with uh, the sparring ups and with campaign is mainly because of the old netcode that's with this uh, MCC. Uh, I mean, this is, you know, a lot of people complain about having like a very laggy experience when you're off host co-oping online when it comes to campaign. And that's kind of how 
Halo was back in the day. Uh, I definitely remember trying to do some online co-op and just having the game being super choppy, super laggy, like it, you're able to do it, but it's not very functional. And it would be a massive overhaul when it comes to the net coding, when it comes to making this whole thing work better when it comes to campaign Spartan Ops. So I wouldn't expect to see that fix come around anytime soon, if ever really, but you know, at least it sounds like it might be a possibility. Again, I have actually have early access to Halo 4 and we'll definitely give it a try out as well, guys. So I'll let you know if you actually can make that work and how the experience is right now. But that's kind of the current motion with crossplay that pretty much your standard multiplayer, you can play together, console, PC, no problem. But when it comes to campaign or Spartan Ops, not so much. Now here's a question I really had. I actually reached out to Postums and they kind of mentioned that he'll get to a later kind of feeling thing, but it was uh, about ranks in the MCC. Now we do know that you have your PC rank and you have your Xbox rank. They actually are going to be changing this up. It sounds like that next week they'll be doing some maintenance and actually the players will have to go offline for a while. They don't mention exactly how long, but I couldn't imagine much more than a single day at the absolute most. But essentially what they'll be doing is merging your ranks between console and PC together and whichever rank you have the highest in. So say if you play a little bit of PC, a little bit of console, say like for Halo 3 and say on console, you're like a level 15 in hardcore and on PC, you're like a level seven. Well, then they're going to merge those ranks together and you'll be at level 15 within your ranks within uh, the MCC. So to be clear, they are not resetting ranks, they are just merging ranks. So we are, we're not having another reset, which is really nice to know. My hope is that I'll finally be able to find matches on Halo 3 Hardcore because I'm like a level 13 or 14 or something like that. And I just can't find matches because the people who are left playing are the you know, dedicated fans who've kind of grinded out only that playlist and they're all generally about 25 or higher. And so it's very difficult for me to find matches. So hopefully bringing in the crossplay feature, this will happen. Now I do know that there is input-based matchmaking and crossplay apparently is rather limited when it comes to um, the ranked playlist. So they haven't specified exactly like the percentage of how likely or the thresholds are when it comes to ranks and also crossplay and stuff like that. Uh, but again, I'm sure they'll let us know more the release day of Halo 4 on PC. And an update with Season 4 content. If you guys have been out of the loop for the last few days or so, which you should have been following the channel, you would be in the know. Just saying, guys. But uh, they are not bringing in any Halo Reach content. I know I made a video like saying like leaked Season 4 content and it showed Halo Reach armor within the MCC. That is not going to be in Season 4. That's most likely coming in Season 5. As they previously mentioned, there's a bit of a pipeline issue when it comes to trying to implement those armors into MCC at the moment. But they do mention here that you'll be having Halo 3 and Halo 4 skins on top of a lot of new nameplates to unlock throughout the season four. And trust me, as soon as season four is available, guys, I will be making content to show you guys exactly what you'll be earning within season four and what tier list and how many season points you'll need to unlock everything. Now, if you do remember, there is currently a special weapon skin for the sniper rifle. I believe it's like the Arctic sniper rifle skin or something like that going on right now in Recon Slayer for Halo 3 where if you earn rank 20, then you'll be able to be eligible to earn that weapon skin. A very, very kind of prestigious kind of thing. I've thirsted for it. I only got to like 13 or 14 until I started matching the same like four people all over again. And they were kind of like a semi-pro squad. So it was quite difficult to rank up for me. Uh, but they do mention here that if, if you have reached rank 20 in Recon Slayer, all you'll need to do is just log into that mode once the season starts and you'll receive that weapon skin as soon as you log into a match. Now they do mention that the Recon Slayer and Associated Challenges are only available for a short time, so you gotta hurry up and get your rank 20 and get your season three challenges done for ODSC. I actually still realize I have a lot to grind through, so I'm gonna be definitely doing that with the MCC for sure. But yes, we know the exact time frame when Halo 4 is gonna release on PC and when season four is gonna be dropping as well along with that. So text chat updates, crossplay updates, and rank changes happening as well, guys. If you like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure tap that like button leave a comment down below what you're most excited about when it comes to halo 4 coming to pc i'm assuming it's probably crossplay maybe some season 4 you know, let me know in the comment section i do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and if you miss any content from me recently look at the videos on the screen right over here i got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out